Hi, this is Dr. B. Let's look at CH4, methane. We'll start with the molecular geometry. The first thing we need is a good Lewis structure. Once we have that, we can figure out the molecular geometry for CH4. To do so, we'll use this generalizable format. So here, A is the main atom, the one we're interested in, and that's carbon. We have one of those. X are the atoms bonded to the atom of interest, the carbon. So we have one, two, three, four, where these lines, they represent the chemical bond. So we'll put a four right here. And N represents the non-bonding electron pairs. Well, all the electron pairs are used up, so we don't have any non-bonding. We can just get rid of that. And that leaves us with AX4. Once we have this AX4, we can then look on a table to find the molecular geometry. So we go down AX2, AX3, there's AX4, and it's tetrahedral. So the molecular geometry of CH4 is going to be tetrahedral. And that's going to look like this right here. The carbon is in the center, and then the hydrogens are on the outside. We can see the bond angle is 109.5. That's going to be this angle right here. And the hybridization will be sp3. When we look at CH4 rotating, you can see that there really is no difference between the sides. They're all the same. Because of that, it's going to be a nonpolar molecule. So there you have it. You can find the molecular geometry, bond angle, hybridization, and polarity for CH4. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.